Hey, it's Dave the Butterfly Guy here. I hope you enjoy my videos and subscribe to my channel. Today I'm talking about a specific type of butterfly that's really got me excited. So, my love of butterfly started out with the monarch. When I heard the monarch was in trouble, I started planting host plants, the milkweed, and tried to do my part to help out the monarch butterfly. But then along the way, I became uh, really interested and excited about swallowtail butterflies. One, their wingspans are five, six, seven inches big, so they're really big butterflies. They're really impressive. So I was like, well, what can I do to attract swallowtail butterflies to my garden? So today I'm talking about one of those swallowtails. I'm not talking about the eastern tiger swallowtail. I'm not talking about the giant swallowtail or the spice bush or the pipe vine. I'm talking about the fabulous black swallowtail. The host plants are great, they're easy. Uh, it's the parsley family, which includes parsley, carrots, celery, uh, fennel, and dill. So a couple years ago I planted dill. I had never seen a black swallowtail in my garden. And then boom, later that year I had caterpillars on the dill and they uh, turned into black swallowtail butterflies, really cool butterflies. So since then, this year I planted more uh, host plants and so I'll show you that in just a second. So I've planted host plants from the parsley flam family in my garden. So here's my carrots. And then I planted some parsley. And then over here I planted some fennel. And then lastly I've planted some dill. And this dill was only about four or six inches when I planted it and now it's three to four feet tall so dill can really take off on you but it's a great attractor and a great host plant for the black swallowtail so make sure you get that in your garden i thought i'd tell you a little bit about the life cycle of the black swallowtail the swallowtail the black swallowtail only lives for about two weeks so it's a pretty short life but during that time it's laying all kinds of eggs up to 50 eggs a day on the parsley family of plants uh, so the eggs are around four to ten days and then they turn into the caterpillar and the caterpillar uh, has a big appetite and it will uh, be around for three to four weeks and get bigger and bigger and bigger and then it'll turn into a chrysalis and the chrysalis will be around for maybe 10 to 20 days and then turn into a butterfly and the whole process starts again the one interesting thing with the black swallowtail is that life cycle changes for the chrysalis that's born in the late fall and they call it overwintering that chrysalis will survive the winter and will become a butterfly in the spring which is really crazy i had one that i tried to uh, raise over this past winter in minnesota uh, but it didn't turn into a butterfly in the spring but hopefully this year i'll have more success found a couple here Here's one, you can maybe see another one behind it, curled up, and there's another smaller one out here. So three black swallowtails have found their way to dill. And hopefully we'll turn into black swallowtail butterflies soon. So I found this young first stage black swallowtail caterpillar on my dill this morning. I'm really excited to see it. And the, as they get bigger, they go through stages. Here's one in the third stage and they get bigger and bigger and they continue to grow. And ultimately they get into a full size caterpillar. And you can see by this picture when they're full grown, they're spectacular. 
Now they look a lot like the Monarch Caterpillar. And I have a Monarch Caterpillar I'm going to show you here. And you can see they're similar, but you'll find the Monarch Caterpillar on milkweed, and you'll find the Black Swallowtail on that parsley family of plants. Here's a look at the Black Swallowtail butterfly. This is a female, and you can tell because it's got the brighter blue and the yellows are a little bit duller as opposed to the males who have the brighter yellow and a little duller blue. So that's how you tell the male and females apart. So that's all I have today. I hope you enjoyed my video on the black swallowtail. I hope you plant some of those uh, host plants. Dill is crazy, right? It grows and is a great host plant, but carrots, parsley, fennel, all those will attract the black swallowtail and you can get this magnificent, beautiful butterfly into your garden. So that's all I have today. It's Dave the Butterfly Guy signing out. Have a great day.